Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're doing fantastic. And today we're going to be taking a look at the box from Hunt Vault. That's right, but before we do, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Ring the notification bell so you do get notified when I upload new content. And with that, friends, let's do it. All right, so we are back with Hunt Vault, and I promise this box is not eight months old. And if you don't know, go back to my last Hunt Vault video to where I said I found one. I tried to have one sitting up for about nine months. This one's not. I just got this one like last week, so yeah. But before we get into it, we're going to raise our glasses to all you guys watching in our Hunt Vault Ben Shot Arrow Infused Mug of Not Bud Light. So cheers to all of you guys watching. All right. <clears throat> okay, so Hunt Vault Elite, they are a monthly subscription service that you can check out. And if you do want to check them out, I will have a link to them in the description box of this video as per usual. They got really good, uh, you know, they got really good subscription boxes. They only got one to choose from, so you don't have to make a lot of decisions. You know, just go there, subscribe. And, I'll, you know, you want to you wanna hunt because these boxes have a lot of, you know, hunting accessories. And why wouldn't they? The box is called Hunt Vault. Yeah. It'll run you 160 a month, but if you reach out to them and give them a 12-month commitment, they will knock it down to 150 a month. Also, they do give discounts to veterans. So if you are a veteran, you know, reach out to them and they will hook you up with a discount. Let's see what else. They are their family-owned, veteran-owned company. You know, what, what more can you can you really ask for? You know, support support uh, some really good people over there. So yeah, let's see what we got. I need oh, I need the card, and the card's buried. I have to dig through everything. No, where's the card at? There we go. All right, <clears throat> this is Hunt Vault. This is August 2023 Elite Collection. There's the card, and we do have some prices. I'm not gonna really look at this too much. So if you want to look at it, you're more than welcome to. So yeah. All right, we're, we're not going to look at that right now. We're going to go ahead and pull some stuff out. Tell you what, let's uh, let's take a drink to get in the box open without any incident. How about that? Yeah. All right, we got something big here. Is this is this going to be a? This is a. Oh, check it out, man! This is a hunt vault. This is something they did a cooperation here with Alps Outdoors. Plus 20 degree mummy. All right. That's awesome. That's what I'm talking about. She is 86 by 34. So kind of a, a mummy backpack. This is called the Aura. A-U-R-A -A plus 20. Hopefully, let's see if all that will show up. And you can see there, they got the Hunt Vault logo on it. How cool is that? So this is some partnership going on. All right. So we got us a, a cool mummy sleeping bag. I love these too. I love them. Okay, so we'll put this to the side for now so we can get all this other stuff out. Let's see what we got here. We got another thing from Hornady. This is a large lock box with two keys, thick 16 gauge steel. Oh, hold, hold the phone a second. Hold the phone a second. I, I could have swore I just saw this and you know what i think it's right there let's see i think this is the same thing but from a different company this is from sherlock security co so it's the same kind of a same kind of a deal which you know unfortunately the bad nature when you get subscription boxes for over a year and you get like three to four or five of them you're going to start getting some repeat products, even though it's not the same company. It's the same, you know, idea. It's just a little lock box that you can put whatever you want. You know, you can put whatever you want in it. And, uh, yeah, it's just a little handy little lock box. But we'll go ahead and we'll free it and we'll get it out and we'll see what it's all about. I'm pretty sure it's not too much different than that one that's up there. At least I can't imagine. All right, so we got some stuff from Hornady. We got Hornady Security. 
they got a little brochure here of all the stuff they sell. Oh, they sell safes too? Okay. Well, I didn't know that. You know, I didn't know they sold that big, you know, you know, big tall safes. I don't have I don't have one of those myself. I got a my main safe is uh let's see, I got it from Liberty. It's a Liberty, it's a Liberty safe. So yeah. And I love it, absolutely love it. Only the only thing I hate about it is is they change the bolts. You know, like mine has the traditional like inch and a half bolts, you know, all the way around the main door. And now they got the, the slat bars, so it makes them way harder to, you know, to get them open if you're trying to brute force them and pry them open. And that was something that kind of happened after I'd already bought mine, because I've, I've, I've had my safe for like six years, something like that. So, yeah. But anyway, it's just something, you know, to keep in mind if you're looking for a safe. You know, Liberty makes really good safes. Safes. So, yeah. All right, let's see. Open, open, open. Open says me. Why won't you open? That's the key. Okay. You got to put it in the right way. Man, this thing is really small. Like, as far as, like, the depth of, of what you can put in here. And they got a, a lock here and a tether, too, that you can... I guess they, they mean for you to put this right here, like like this... And then you close it and you lock it and this right here then you can lock it to something so you can't just snatch it and run away with it but yeah I mean this is not the biggest you know steel cable so you know decent pair of, you know of cutters would probably make somewhat light work of that but you know it's, it's good because you know this is going to be something like this is going to be definitely a you know theft of opportunity you know just because it looks easy you know, it's pretty much going to be why somebody would take this. But but look at this. I mean, it's not deep, so you can't put a whole lot of stuff in it. Hit that comment section down below and let me know what you. I mean, even this thing, even this the the included, you know, corded the the steel rope, like it it you have to push it down to get it to close with that in there. Well, I mean, I'm assuming I, I'm I'm assuming you can also take this out. You know, you can take the padding out, and that would give you a lot more real estate, but. But still, this thing's not not very big. Stuff like this, you know, it, it's hard for me to see the utility in it. You know, like the use. You know, and that's just me, me and my negative, my you know, me me being my negative self. So hit the comment section down below. And let me know what you think about you know little security boxes, you know, like this. If you think they're they're worth it, if you think they're junk, you know, whatever. Uh oh, I just sent some stuff flying. What do we got here? Okay. Oh man, I just messed my table all up and everything. Okay, so I will put the the Alps sleeping bag back up here now. Now that I got some room, let's see if I can I get everything in the shot. I think I can. Look at that success. We're gonna drink to that success. All right, what we got here? Okay, we got something from Walkers. We got some soft foam earplugs, and what what is this this thing with it? Seven pairs of earplugs plus aluminum carry canister. Now that is actually really neat. The the earplugs down there on the bottom, right here on the bottom, they got a little this little canister that it looks like you could squeeze two of them in, and then they have a little a little uh, ring that you could put them on your keys or something. So that's that's that's. Actually, not it's not a bad idea, you know. I mean, generally, you know, if I'm going to something that I need ear ear protection, you know, I wouldn't need that. But it's definitely something to to consider, I guess. I don't know. Tell me what you think in the comment section. What do you think about having having this little canister with with a set of earplugs that you could put on like a uh, well, you could put it on. You could put it on a bag, and it wouldn't be that you know obtrusive. You know, just to have a spare you know a set of ear ear protection. You could put it on like a zipper tab or something like that, and it's not like I said, it's not that big of a deal to have that little thing on there. Hit the comment section down below. And let me know what you think about that. You know, would you would you would you carry that? And that that's the question. All right. 
So the next thing we got here is some highly reflective wing tacks. A uh, large grip area for easier placement or removal. Super reflective multi-angle surface on both sides. A hinged lid. So is this for like marking like a trail or something? I'm assuming. It says, ideal for hunting, camping, and hiking. Tacks are most visible when holding flashlight at eye level. Okay, so these are, they look like, you know, little push pins, but they're, but on the, on the edge there, they're flat. And you can see, you can see one right here. They've got one that's out in the pack, and you can see it. So it, it, the body of it, you know, until you get to where it's flat, it looks like a little, just a, a little push pin. So they have highly reflective stuff on both sides. So I'm assuming that this is just some type of, you know, it's a, it's a visual reference type situation. So if you're, if you're, you know, I guess if you're hunting and you and you're doing too much of this, which I would not recommend, because if you need something like this to find your way back to your camp, uh, you might be doing something wrong. Just saying. Let me know. There's 25 of these things in here, so you know, depending on. I guess depending on where you're going and the visibility and the denseness of the woods you're going into, oh man, I don't know. I would have to I would have to take them out and like hit them with a flashlight just to see like how really how reflective these things really are. You know, I'd have to see. I mean, do they it says they're just highly reflective. But I'm not, I'm not, I, well, yeah, you guys really can't see that. I'm not, I don't know, I, I'd have to take them out and see what's up. This might, this may have to be some, this might have to be some homework. Because we got a long weekend going. So, yeah, hey, man, today's Friday, right? So, if you're, you know, if you have Monday off and you get to a little, maybe you get a three-day weekend, you know, that's kind of what's up. So, yeah. All right. Let me know what you think about these tacks. I mean, highly reflective tacks that I guess you could like walk around and stick on branches and trees and whatever I don't know I don't know all right so we got a little fire starting kit with matches it's in one of these little tins very small let's see what let's see what this thing's all about okay so we've got some cotton that may or may not be infused with something that is flammable. But we got how many how many of them we got? One, two, three. We got five of them and we got some matches. Now these matches don't look like they're anything to write home about. They they look like they got they look like they got some kind of coating on them, but they're very small and the the striker there is not that big. But okay. And like I said, you get the, the little pieces of, of fire starter here. So they're, they're about an inch long, maybe a quarter inch around, maybe three eighths around. If, if you know, if you're generous. So, and then we have a striker. We have a striking pad on the inside of the cap. So technically, this, this does give you everything you need. You got something to, to help, you know, start the fire, to get it going. You got the matches and you got strike pads. So this is a little fire starter kit, true enough. But what do you guys think about, about stuff like this, these little kits? Do you think uh, it would be useful to use this kind of stuff you carry? Or do you carry, you know, I carry, a, you know, if I'm going to have fire starter stuff, I'm either going to have a ferro rod or I'm going to have one of my trusty Zippo lighters. You know that's that's just me you know but let me know let me know in the comment section down below or from our last box you can have just stuff like this these little storm proof matches from uco we got this in the last box you can have a little kit like this it has 15 matches spare striker pads and for some reason the one that i have has cotton at the top of it you know so like that but anyway, that's what we got. So that's what we got. So yeah, there you go. We'll drink to that. Drink to fire starter kits.
All right, last thing we got is a hybrid light from Mammoth. 400 lumen hybrid solar multi-light and charger. That is a whole lot of words that mean what? Okay, it says it does 35 hours of light on one full charge. It does 400 lumens, a 400 lumen light with a 150 lumen flashlight. Okay, so this we're gonna have like a little panel with a with a light on the end of it. So yes, okay, all right, all right. And that's what we got. Now this thing here, this is interesting. This is very interesting. We got magnets over here so we can stick it to something. Well, you know what? Let's see. I'll drink to that. She stuck. And then look at this. You even got a uh, you even got a hook. So if you need to hang it. Already this thing is this thing's doing good. And oh the head swivels too. Look at that. You can you can articulate this thing. You know, not far, but, but definitely far enough. You know, if you're hanging it, especially if you're hanging it, you can you can kind of get it illuminating like down to, to where your camp is. So that that's that's awesome. And then there's our there's our little solar charging panel right there, which you know I, I'm I'm trying to work on the the practicality of using this to charge with. Like how long does it take to charge with this? So yeah, that's 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 another story. But yeah, okay. So we do have a flip out. Check this out. And I'm gonna tell you I'm gonna tell you where this is. This comes in handy. It's got the flip out for a standard house plug, okay, standard 120 volt. Where this is neat, well, I'm going to say that because my truck has an inverter built into it. Like on my dash, I have a little port that I can fold down that I can, I could theoretically, if it would fit. Now, that would be the only question is would it fit? Might have to try that because stuff like this, if you do carry a little inverter, you know, like a cigarette inverter in your car, all you got to do is get one of the little small jobs. You could, you know, if your car still would work, you know, you could definitely charge it off that. So that's a bonus. And then having a little solar charger is a bonus. And then having your plug here, which is where? It's right here. Okay, now the way we got, what we got? We got micro and, wait, we got a regular USB too. So wait a minute. Did they, did they intend for you to charge off this? Yes. Okay. It's got a 5 volt, 1.5 amp USB output for charging. So on here, you can see right here where my finger is, we have two ports. Okay, we have a USB and then a micro USB. The micro USB is what you're going to, if you're going to hook this up to charge it, and then the regular USB, you're going to plug into it to use the power out of the battery to charge something else. Now the, how you feel about this, this is only, a, well, wait a minute, it's a 4400 milliamp hour lithium ion battery 4400 milliamp okay that's not that's not the best but look how big this thing is i mean it's not that big so let's see if it's got a charge it does have a charge Woo, that thing okay that thing puts out some light it's not too shabby okay Man, you know what that's not too shabby either that's not that's not bad that's not bad at all okay and that's 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 all you get. You know, there's no high low. It's just you you turn this on. This is what you're getting, and you turn this on. That's what you're getting. There's no selection. Okay, so this light, 400 lumens. This light, 150 lumens. Okay, so let's see. Does it tell me how long it will actually do that for though? Okay, what is this? Come on now. That's not telling me nothing. All right, hang on. Oh, I didn't bring. Oh, I don't have my glasses. Oh man, Uber fail. Uh, let's see. Yeah, don't tell me. Okay, it says it does 120 degrees on the the you know on the articulation there. It says it'll do 400 lumens up to 80 hours. I'm assuming that that's going to be the 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 smaller one. 
if up, up, up to 80 hours. Yeah, so the up to 80 hours means the 150 lumen light on the end. And then it says it'll throw 10 meters. You can, it's impact resistant for, from one meter. So you could drop it from like a yard, from three feet, and it won't mess it up. I don't know. I'd be worried about this, about this right here, this, this charging panel. I'm pretty sure if, if you dropped it and it hit a rock or something just right, it would probably crack this all up and probably render it, you know, not going to say totally inoperable, but I'm pretty sure it would, it would mess it up. But, you know, what do you think about this? You know, 4,400 milliamp hour battery, that's not too shabby. And the fact that, that it does have a solar, little solar thing on it, depending on how much you're going to get out of that, and the fact that you can take a battery bank, you could carry another battery bank like the one that I have over here that I've shown you before that has a, a solar pan, a little solar panel on it. But you could piggyback off, off of it, right? You could plug that into this to charge this to use the light. Hmm. But that thing's got a light too. Ignore everything I just said. What do you guys think about this? I think this is, a, this, is, this is really a nifty little thing. And being that it's not that big, and it does have so much versatility in the fact you got magnets, you got a hanger, it articulates, it's got a 120 volt plug here, you know, so if you do have a, a little inverter, you know, maybe you got one of these little small inverters. Well, I've got a Dakota lithium power box here, but I've got a little inverter, but I, I don't have it here with me. I'm going to do a video on it too. Tell me what you think about this. I'm going to tell you something. The more I sit here and, and, and look at this, you know, you, you can, I could see somebody dismissing this as being, oh, well, it's, it's trying to do too much in one thing. But I think, I think this is a really good product, man. You know, just, just looking at it. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. What do you think about this, this, this gadget here? I, I think this thing is, I think this thing's on point, man. Look at that. Look at that. I, I, I like it. I like it. Okay, so let's go to the card. And like I said, man, I'm going to be struggling. All right, so we got the Custom Hunt Vault Alps Outdoor Aura Plus 20 Degree Sleeping Bag. All right, now remember, you could be in this for 160 or 150 This sleeping bag right here, and I know we didn't talk about this a whole lot. This has a $110 value. And it says, it says here it uh, offers lightweight, uh, compatible sleeping uh, with premium thermal efficiency. The Aura features synthetic... Tech Loft micro insulation consisting of multiple uh, denier staple length fibers with a siliconized finish for maximum insulation, loft, and compactness. I can sum it up. Hey man, it's made out of good stuff. There you go. Uh, let's see, two layer construction and the uh, contoured hooded mummy shape help maximize warmth on chilly nights. All right, awesome. Uh, let me know, you guys have any exposure to this Alps brand? Because me, uh, the sleeping bags I got, man, they're cheap. If I showed you, you'd probably all laugh at me. No, I'm cheap, man. I got some cheap sleeping bags. Although I do have, I do have some of the climate and that, that have, you know, I've gotten from subscription boxes. So I do have a climate sleeping bag that, that you know, I'm going to try as soon as the what what what's going on out there that's not natural once all that gets out of here you know so yeah and and yeah my thoughts and prayers go out to all the people affected by that that hurricane that went up in the bend of florida we didn't get anything from it obviously you know because we're you know on the we're on the furthest side of the panhandle of florida but uh yeah that storm came in it was it was, it was bad i was watching live streams of people uh so if, if you need a good weather channel to watch go to ryan hall y'all ryan hall and then y-a-l-l -L, y'all and you'll find this channel he, he's really really good does a lot of good coverage he's got these guys that go out you know and they go on location and they live stream so yeah but yeah it was it was i was watching it was pretty rough all right then we got the the mammoth light here the hybrid light it says a beast of a light powered by the sun or usb finishing mossy oak bottom lands what, what, what makes this bottom land? I, I get mossy oak, but what, how's that bottom land? I don't know. I don't, I don't get that. Okay, it says it's a versatile, rugged, and multifunctional workhorse, which features a magnet, so it can be mounted 
Yes. 400 lumen light. Gotcha. 80 bucks. Man, whew. I like this thing, but... Well, I mean, it's a battery. It's a, ba it's a battery pack, too. It's a, got a little solar thing. 80 bucks might be all right. I don't know. You guys tell me in the comment section. Do you think, you think this, this hybrid light here is worth 80 bucks? All right, then we got the... <laughs> get this. They call this... Hornaday calls this a large lockbox. Man, that is, not, that is not no large lockbox. At least the price ain't large. It's 36 bucks. That's, that, that's about right. Now, it says, provides uh, secure storage for, man, for handguns. Okay, yo, okay. A 22, a little, little, little compact 22, maybe. All right. It says, uh, in, on your nightstand, your car, traveling, comes with a heavy. Now, I'm going to tell you something. That is something I would say. Maybe, maybe when you're, maybe in your car, maybe, you could put something in it. And then you could take that cord, that steel cable, and wrap it around like the, your, your, your pillar of your seat. And then put a padlock on or something, your little combination lock. Maybe that would be something. I don't know. It says it uh, comes with a heavy-duty 1,500-pound rated steel cable. That, yeah, I got cutters that go right through that. All right. All right, anyway, $36. Not, not, not bad, not bad. All right, the VSSL, and you know, I have heard of this company before. This VSSL, I've got a, I've got a little kit that's like this. That's got a bunch of these little, you know, miniature, you know, miniature kits in it. Yeah, I, I, I do remember that. Man, that's from a long. That's a video from a long time ago. Nine bucks. Now you guys saw what was in here. It's like ten, like five or six matches and like four or five pieces of cotton. Ten bucks. Well, nine, not nine, nine dollars. Yeah, I don't, I don't know about that. Okay, hunting made easy reflective wing tacks. Twenty-five pack, five bucks. Okay, that's not five bucks. Ain't ain't bad. So this isn't. Uh, I'm gonna say a rip off, but I want to see what it says here. Oh, let's see. These tacks allow you to easily locate your hunting location in the dark, and are still visible by flashlight in cloudy or overcast daytime conditions. Perfect. For hunting, camping, hiking, simply place in trees so you don't lose your way or get disoriented in the woods. Especially if you're doing this. Which I don't recommend. So anyway, 25 pack of these don't get lost in the woods, 5 bucks. Alright, and then finally we got the Walker's Foam Earplugs, 4 bucks. That's probably about right because you know it's, it's Walker. You know, just because it's got Walker on, it's gonna be, you know, it's a little expensive. But how many how many sets is in here? Seven pairs. So we got 14, 14 of these old cheap, you know, foam. You know, you you got it. You got to you got to act like you know how to roll a joint. You got to smash them up and you got to you got to kind of twist them a little bit and then shove them in here and hold them while they expand. You know, I don't like these. I like the little push ins. Or just wearing, and really, I don't, I don't even like them to be honest with you. I just like wearing muffs, so that that that's how I get down. But anyway, four dollars, you know, you know, not much. They say they give you 33 dB, you know, noise reduction, so that that's that's really good. That's 33 dB is generally about is more than you're gonna get, obviously, from muffs, you know, or electronic ears. But I just I go that route. That's how I do things. I don't like them. It's just how I get down. That's it. Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about all this stuff. Primarily, if you have any experience with Alps. If you use any of Alps, you know, camping, uh, sleeping systems. You know, let me know. Let me know if this is going to be something that, that's really good or comes highly recommended or whatever. But, mainly... Let me know what you think about this. Just the concept of it, the utility of it, and the fact that you know it does have multiple configurations for charging it. You know, you can go, you can go into the solar, you can go into the 120, you can go into the, the micro USB, and then the fact that you can hook something to it USB to charge off the battery. I think this is really good having having these on there and, and the hook and all that. I think it's good. All right, guys, that's it. That's all I got. I'm out of here. I'm gonna polish this off and I'm gonna. I don't think I'm going to ramble too much, so if, if you're hanging out with me, I really greatly appreciate you. We're, we're about getting ready to wrap up the 
the giveaway on that, that zero tolerance knife. And and you guys are still still going at it. You know what's funny? Let me check real quick. I have not seen, I told you guys that I guarantee you, if we start bashing this, this Brad's Journey telegram spammer, he ain't gonna show up. Has he shown up though? That's the question. I'm not seeing no replies to, to these comments. You've got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. We start we start talking bad about this dude, he don't show up. Is this is this real life? This can't be real life, man. Ugh. Scammers the worst. I can't believe people actually fall for it. Well, let me tell you something. People do fall for that, and I, and I really hate it that people do fall for it. You know, and it's not that people fall for it. It's people get deceived. Okay, it's not that you know you, you fell for it. You're being tricked. You're being lied to. So you know, don't don't have that mentality about people falling for it, because ultimately it's a scam. You're you're, you're being deceived. You know, you're being lied to. So yeah, you know, I hate it. I hate it. I hate seeing it because I don't want people to to see that and think that it's me, because it's not. You know, it's it's not. So yeah. Let's see. Telegram scammers worse than a pizza MRE. Timothy, brother, you got that right. And then that, that pizza MRE, man, that thing's gross. That thing's nasty. You have one? Let me know in the comment section. You have one in pizza MRE? Man, things are gross. All right. Let's see. Telegram scammer needs to be kicked in the testicles. That's right. Let's see. <laughs> Spammers L, man. Thank you for another giveaway. Let me tell you something. All you guys, you know, like I said, I appreciate you guys thanking me, and, and I know you guys are grateful. You know, I'm happy to do it. I, I really am. I, I'm happy to do it. I'm happy to do it. The Telegram Spammer <laughs> buys his Bud Light from Target. <laughs> oh my God. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Man, I tell you what, you guys ain't right, man. <laughs> you guys ain't right. Yeah. Yeah, we don't like it, that's for sure. You guys did, you guys, you guys came through, man. I made the call and all of you answered. That's all I can say. All right, that's it. I'm, I'm out of here, guys. Hope you guys have, are having a good start to your weekend. And yeah, I got some videos I'm going to kick out this weekend, you know, try to get you know, try to get some stuff done, you know, give you some content to watch, and hopefully come back and hang out with me, man, make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit me a thumbs up on this video, try to beat the algorithm to death, man, get, get, get this video in front of some more people, get some more views up in here, other than that, I'm out of here, hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day, evening, morning, poop, whatever, alright guys, I'm out of here, peace!